Hey guys, Booty Quake here. I'm here in the uh, the home gym, which happens to also be the living room, dining room, and uh, kitchen. And I'm going to show you uh, an easy, simple, great warm up and mobility routine for your upper body. Now, to do this, uh, you need a little bit of equipment called Theraband. It's just a rubbery fabric stuff, and you can grab it and stretch it. This kind of rubber tubing, uh, you may have gotten some of this or the other one at your physiotherapy appointment. The uh, slightly fancier version, which is the um, resistance bands with the handles, okay? If you do not have any of those, hopefully at home you have a broom. And I'm gonna show you as we go through how you can use the broomstick to do this warm up instead. All right, pass throughs, arms straight out in front of me. I'm gonna go over and pass myself through the band and back over. And I'm gonna repeat this 10 times. Some things to think about. <clears throat> a narrower grip will be much harder to do. It will be more of a test of your shoulder mobility. If your shoulders are not very flexible, then you're gonna to wanna to take a wider grip because that's gonna be quite a bit easier. The other thing to remember here is uh, that it's a very common tendency to push our uh, ribs through like this and arch the back on the way through, which isn't helping to work on your shoulder mobility. Uh, so instead, I'd like you to think about having um, a chain that attaches that bottom point of your rib to the top point of your hips. So that distance is going to stay fixed. You're not going to be able to push those ribs through, okay? So keep your ribs tucked down and attached to your hips, strong core, and make all the motion come from the shoulders. Real quick, the broom version, grab uh, wider than shoulder width because you're not going to have the stretch here. Um, start wide and you can narrow up if uh, it's too simple for you. Okay. okay, this one I call cactus arms. Starting here, leaning all my body weight against the wall. Hands up overhead. Um, I wanna keep my ribs like before in that locked position. So I don't wanna let my body uh, come away from the wall. I'm gonna keep my back completely planted against the wall. And I'm pressing my hands into the wall, bringing them down to 90 degrees and back up. And the whole time, I'm really pressing my forearms and my wrists into the wall. Doesn't seem like much, but it's doing something, I promise. Okay, so we'll do 10 of those. Next up, I'm gonna do some wall push-ups, 10 of these. Uh, I've got my feet, you know, good three feet away from the wall, and I've got my hands lower than you think you need them, okay? Not shoulder height, but more like a little lower than chest height because your body's going to angle towards the wall so you don't want to angle towards the wall and then have your hands up too high just to do a nice controlled push-up in and out and we'll do that for 10. We are going to do 10 pull-aparts with an overhand grip and 10 with an underhand grip next. Shoulder width grip, again ribs locked down not moving and you're simply going to pull apart, okay? Uh, make sure that you bring the band back with resistance. Don't just let it snap back, okay? So control out, control in, 10 this way, and then we're going to switch the grip so that we have an underhand grip and do the same thing. If you are doing the broomstick version here or you've got a dowel at the gym or something instead of a, a stretchy object, then you're just going to do an isometric contraction here. So what that means is uh, you're going to contract your muscles as though you're trying to rip the broom handle apart, uh, but you're not actually going to move your hands. Okay, so I'm contracting and I should feel it, you know, in between my shoulder blades and on this outside part of my shoulder. And then same thing, underhand, pull apart. Okay, so you're going to do um, five contractions of like three seconds each, over, underhand and overhand. All right, our next warm-up exercise is gonna be for our thoracic spine, and that's basically your, your upper back. Uh, you're gonna need a foam roller to do this exercise, but in one second, I will show you a variation if you don't have a foam roller. So to begin with, uh, place the foam roller just at the lower part of your upper back, okay? And with your butt on the floor, keeping your hips down, arms crossed over your chest, keep your neck tucked. So um, imagine you're holding a raw egg between your chin and your collarbones. You're just going to contract your back muscles and let yourself roll back over the roller. Oh, it feels good. 
You're gonna do 10 reps in this position. And then once you've done 10, you're gonna uh, move the roller up a little bit so that the roller's gonna be kind of right between your shoulder blades. And same exact thing, you're now just gonna be rolling through your uh, higher part of your spine. Again, keeping your chin tucked and always keeping your hips on the floor. Okay, you're not gonna make a huge movement or a huge arch in your back through this range, but this is helping to improve the mobility of your upper spine, which is really important uh, when we're strengthening that area. Okay, here's the variation. If you don't have a foam roller, we're gonna do kind of a modified cobra stretch. So uh, hands lightly on the ground uh, either side of you, chin tucked, and you're going to try to contract your back muscles and arch your back right here. Okay, so it's not about arching from your low back. Um, you're trying to move this joint here, okay? So lift yourself up and hold for a count and come down. And when you're up there, really, your hands shouldn't be doing much, okay? It should really just be kind of balancing you. So I want you to do 10 in that position. And then you're gonna try to uh, curve your spine up here between your shoulder blades. Okay, so it's a subtle difference. But you're gonna do 10 in that position. And you're gonna try your best to see if you can isolate the different places that your spine moves between your upper, between your shoulder blades, and just a little further down without having it come from here. Okay, and remember always using your back muscles to do this and keeping your hands light on the floor. Before we move on to the workout, forearms. Okay, I tend to get some tennis elbow and um, if you're gripping, if you're doing chin ups or something like that, there's just um, a lot of strain on your forearms. So I just like to warm them up with 10 circles out and then 10 circles in. Okay, so I'm just rotating my wrists with fists. Okay, and uh, getting those uh, forearms just a little bit warmed up before we go on. There you go, that's our warm up.